This is the hardest defense to play against in Madden 24. We can go. Woo. It shuts down the run. Plays lights out against the pass. And gets instant sacks all game. So if you want to see what defense I'm using in results like this, Got stick around after the intro. The For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my Denver Broncos Offensive and Las Vegas Raiders Defensive eBooks. If you guys want more help, you can always download these or any of my eBooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. The defense I'll be using in this gameplay today is once again my 3-4 odd scheme as I think this is the best defense in the game to use and it's pretty much the only defense that I have used all year. I have made several videos about this defense going all the way back to the beta as I've been dominating with this defense since then. But I've noticed a lot of comments from people that can't figure out how to use this defense so i'm going to make one more video to try to help these people out as my opponent will also be running this defense only he'll be running it a little different than me in a way that makes it even better as this is one of the toughest defenses i've faced all year my setup to this defense hasn't changed as i like to run my flats to 15 and 5 but the most important coaching adjustment is to set your auto alignment to base so that all the plays i'm going to call today are going to look the exact same but the two main plays that i've always been using have been the pinch buck zero and the cover four drop contain I have made videos about the Cover 3 version and the Cover 6 version, all of which I'll be using in today's gameplay as well. On the first play, I call the Pinch Bug Zero, but since I have my base set on, it will look like a Cover 4 shell every single time. When I see the 3 tight end set though, I immediately switch to the Cover 4 because this is the best run defense in this formation, since the safeties will play the run first as long as they don't pass commit. And on the very first play, he only gets 2 yards. I stay in cover 4 on the next play as he comes out of 3 tight end set once again, only this time I baseline show blitz and baseline again. Doing this will bring the safeties down closer to the line of scrimmage, but not the cornerbacks, as the cornerbacks can get beat deep by simple streaks if they are close to the line of scrimmage. I also pinch the D-line and linebackers to close up any inside lanes, and hard flat the outside linebackers by playing underneath coverage. Now on the next play we shut him down for a 1 yard loss. On third and nine, we want to send the pressure a little more, so I switch back to the pinch bug zero, but he sees it a mile away as he hits the comeback route on the edge to get to fourth and inches, and then barely picks it up with a zig, before going right back to the comeback route once again on the very next play. So since he has that figured out, I switch to my cover three, as these all look the same pre-snap, but this defense isn't as good against the run. So I switch to cover six on the next play, as at least I have one cover four safety to help out with run defense, but I still blitz all linebackers. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. On fourth down, he seems to have the most success against man zero, so I switch to cover six. And the hard flat comes up huge as we get the stop. On offense, this was my first full game of using my new favorite offense in the gun wing flex offset. So admittedly, I was a bit rusty, but I recently put out several videos about this offense, including a full breakdown. So if you guys want to see more about it, I will have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. So stick around for that. But since this is my first time using this offense against a live opponent, I made my fair share of mistakes. On the first play, I get stuffed on the run, only to see that he is running the exact same defense that I'm running in the three for odd cup for drop. The only difference is that he's going to run the cup for his drop all game. On the next play, since he's pitching the entire defense without backing off his corners, I just put the outside receiver on a fade. And since he has outside leverage, we get to play on the ball. You got more. But that was a dangerous throw, and I don't want to do that too often. I hit the running back underneath on the next play to get inside the 10, as he is obviously blitzing all linebackers on that last play. Now in the red zone, I switch to the double drags play because this is one of the better concepts to use in this situation, as all of these routes get open from here. Back on defense, we go right back to mixing up our coverages as we don't want him to pick up on what we're doing, but the pressure is the exact same. Before I switch right back to the cover zero on the next play, and he decides to block too many guys to pick up the blitz, including the tight end and the running back. It works to pick up the blitz, but the safeties now switch to deep zones and lock everything up gotcha, bitch. as he throws deep into double coverage. Back on offense, I'm still trying to set up a one play touchdown versus defense, but it's costing me downs as it's not working against his blitz. Nope. I throw the running back underneath on the next play as I'm just now trying to convert, but as I know, the pressure is instant. God damn it! I'm already starting to get frustrated as I decide to punt it away and play defense with the lead. But at least I cough and corner him in at the one. Fuck you! From here I'm smelling a safety but that doesn't last as he hits me with a stretch outside where there's no safety help. Oh! He runs it again on the next play, and cover zero is admittedly the worst defense in this scheme against the run. I stay with it on the next play though, expecting him to pass at some point. 
and he does on the next play to get to third and inches. So I switch back to cover four as he barely gets on the ground on a fall forward animation. <coughs> I go back to cover zero, but he just runs it again. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. So now that I know the game plan, I decide to call more cover force for the rest of this drive. I switch to cover six from here and he tries to moss me on the next play. How about new? No? But the coverage is there before I make a coverage mistake playing underneath on the very next play since I'm inside the 10 and there's no over the top. But he recognizes it right away and uses the comeback like a streak. Damn! throwing it early to tie the game. I get the ball back in the second half and even though he is hard flatting, the drags still get open as we get an easy first down and you can tell that the only adjustment he is making is that sometimes he blitzes on linebackers and sometimes he drops everyone back. Oops. Which is the exact adjustment that I said to do in my very first video about this defense. So I don't know if he is a follower or if he figured this out by himself, but it is very effective as he blitzes on the next play and gets me to burn it down. Bruh. And now I have to punt. And, th and this time we down him inside the six. Fuck you! He comes out in an obvious run formation once again, so I instantly switch to the cover four, and he gets nothing. I go back to the pinch book zero on the next play, and he tries an end around that goes backwards. And now on third and long, we go to that zero one more time, and almost get an interception before he decides to go for it, and picks it up on a comeback route once again. You dirty motherfucker! I switch to cover three on the next play, and now he beats me in the flats, as he has just been more patient than I have been to this point, as he takes the running back on the screen underneath on the very next play, before taking the flats again. And now he's slowly dinking and dunking me despite switching coverages to the point where he eats up the rest of the third quarter. I go back to Manzo in the next play to stop this. Sit your ass down. And we push him back a few yards, but on the next play, we get a horrible broken tackle animation. To the point where it actually made me change my coaching adjustments after the play. He reads my cover zero in the next play and would have scored on a comeback route if his receiver didn't run out of bounds first. <laughs> I go back to the cover six on the next play so he can't do that and we force an incompletion to get to third and ten before he just throws it away and takes the lead with a field goal. On offense, I have to get something going, so I set up a flat to the edge for a couple of yards. On the next play, I streak the X route to pull back the cornerback for the corner route to get underneath it, and somehow we get over the top of his cornerback, as he must have put him into a hard flat, and we get a huge catch and run to get into field goal territory. I do it again on the next play, but it's not there, so I take the check down underneath. On the next play, I motion across the X route and put him on a 5-yard out route to get open outside of the dropping cornerback, as his lack of diversity and coverage is starting to catch up with him. I hit the running back underneath on the next play, before I finally get him to change plays to the 4-3 even 6-1 with the game on the line and I wasn't expecting that as I had to take a field goal to tie the game with just over a minute left. On the first play I call cover 6 and play coverage and he throws it away as he clearly couldn't read a pre-snap. I try to blitz him on the next play but he takes the check down to the running back to get the midfield before hurrying me up and taking the tight end in the flats on the other side. I switch back to the cover 6 as this play has been most effective and we get the stop before he finally figures this play out and beats my safety with a go ahead touchdown with only 16 seconds left and now I'm going to need a miracle. Oh good for you! The miracle starts off pretty good as I get a big return before I complete the next pass to the tight end at the boundary before I call a timeout with only one second left. One last chance to set up a one play touchdown that hasn't worked all game. I don't mind showing a loss as long as it serves a purpose as I have a lot of people telling me in the comments that the 3-4 odd doesn't work for them but this guy ran it perfectly exactly how I said to to the point where it was the toughest defense that I played against this year giving me only the second loss that I've had in Madden 24 and he gave it to me with my own defense. So that's that's the video if you guys want to see more gameplays like this in the future please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. I will have some of the other videos I made about this offense and defense popping up on screen including the original one about cover 4 so if you guys want to know more just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. I should out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.